So from a technology point of view, CLGP is, um, we have 48 cameras on the water and every single one is wireless. We can't put a cable or do anything like that. We have a helicopter, we have nine F-50s. Uh, everything is on the water, therefore everything is wireless. So getting that information out from the boat, uh, that's video, that's audio, and that's uh, telemetry data. Getting that from the, the boat to uh, our CLGP fans is an extreme uh, uh, problem, uh, but we, we, can, we can do it at the moment. So at the moment we're talking, how does this work? How will that work? How does that impact on other things within the broadcast? And, and we're gonna to get to a point where we'll, we'll start building that in the, in the near future. The main challenge here is coming from the seawater and the wind. I mean, seawater for equipment is like the worst thing you can do. And obviously uh, there's water coming to the equipment. So making things seawater proof and deal with the wind, get out proper audio uh, from the systems and get proper video with like sprinkles of seawater on the lenses. At the moment, SailGP does a, uh, as I explained earlier on, we do a remote production. So everything needs to be sent back to London. Everything is wireless. We have the F-50, which is the, the sailboat that the teams compete on. I, as a technology person, I look at that as a extreme IoT device. We have 30,000 data points on the boat. We generate around 48 billion data requests every afternoon when we have nine uh, F-50s on the water. So the huge amount of information coming from that boat, uh, Reed will help us get that information from the F-50s to land and then onto the Oracle Cloud. From the Oracle Cloud, then we produce all our metrics and the metrics then you see on our broadcast on our SailGP app and on our SailGP Insights powered by Oracle uh, webpage. We have all our athletes out on the water. Um, they communicate using the Bolero system from, um, uh, from, from the F-50 to, to shore. Uh, and they are actually using it when uh, in Saint-Tropez, which was our last uh, French Sail Grand Prix, uh, the French boat actually did 99.94 kilometers an hour on the water. And therefore then they're talking, using the Bolero system to other people within, on, within the French F-50 and also to their support boat on the, on the, on the water as well. So this for us is, is truly remarkable and to be able to use this technology is a game changer for SailGP. Bolero, I would say it is the, the, the biggest success story in, in the history of Riedel Company. Here it is uh, again special. Um, and to make it work on a, on a sailing boat, we had to create islands of Bolero antennas and make them connect with another broadband radio system, which connects those uh, back to the uh, broadcast compound where we connect that with an artist intercom and make it part of one overall system. Um, and, well, it is a solution we developed specifically uh, for this sport uh, to be able to connect such islands. But funny enough, we could now use that and uh, have these kind of islands even in applications like uh, football referee uh, uh, applications. So SailGP build uh, trackers on the water, so we track all our assets and that includes an F-50 and that includes a mark and that includes a support boat. So we know, we have, we have a picture of everything of what's on the water. From that then, all that is sent over the Riedel network to the Oracle Cloud. From there then we build a picture where, where our marks are, where our ley lines will be and where, where our mark circles will be as well. And from that then, that's all produced in London. Uh, within 100 milliseconds. We send that to, uh, we put that out to our broadcasters and then uh, that's broadcasted out to 187 broadcasters around the world. It needs to work together. It's really going into each other and uh, our clients, uh, especially here in, in SailGP, they've set up a framework which is just impressive uh, and, uh, and we work with that. And uh, we are used to this, also in other formats, uh, to work really, to be there on time and to do the right things and have a proven technology which certainly helps that things really happen on time.